Now, a lot of, I see it, there's a lot of stuff on the internet talking about hypergamy and so on, especially uh, MGTOW stuff, uh, people on the internet. Now, first of all, I want to say, I don't really agree with a lot of these MGTOW people on the internet. I don't know if they're trolls or not, but basically, women, these, these MGTOW type people, they say, um, a lot of them say, you know, all women are bad, all relationships are bad. That's the type of attitude that they have. I don't know if they're gay. I don't know if they're trolls. I don't know if they maybe had got divorce raped, had bad experiences, but I think that it is possible. See, throughout the world, throughout history, there have been men who have had relationships with women, women who have relationships with men, and these relationships can be mutually beneficial. Now, there are a lot of women who do not bring much to the table who have overbearing, overbearing demands who who will make your life worse than what it is and though to me those are the type of women that you need to avoid the women who and and um having a relationship with a woman does take a big investment so you have to uh, pick and choose which women are worth the investment which women are worth the trouble which women are worth the effort and in my opinion not all of them are worth the effort not all of them are worth the trouble so you have to pick and choose which women you want if i some women i may not think a certain woman's worth the trouble but someone else another guy may think she's worth the trouble so but every individual man has to pick and choose which woman he thinks is worth um the trouble or i mean or he can stay single if he wants it's up to it's up to them it's up to him but i don't agree with um these MGTOW when MGTOW people say that all women are bad automatically just by virtue of them having a vagina they're bad just like I don't agree with them, um, all women are are fresh are wonderful just by virtue of them having a vagina. So, you know, you have to pick and choose which women you want to deal with, if you want to deal with women at all. Now, a lot of people do talk about hypergamy on the internet. Um, a lot of the MGTOW people, for example, and I actually do agree with the hypergamy idea, because the, so hypergamy is when women. Um, I guess the, the real the real proper definition is when women want to marry or maybe cultures where women are supposed to marry men of higher social status or but um the type of the way that people use the word on the internet a lot is um just women seeking out partners of higher status or partners who are better than them and I agree with that with what they say about hypergamy on the internet because I've seen I see it a lot you know you, there's a lot of women who are, con are always searching for partners who are above them. They want men who are richer, better looking, taller, etc., etc. Um, so yes, women are hypergamous. However, when women, when women, um, women's hypergamy or their their expectations of a partner are too high, they're really only hurting themselves. Like I mean, it's really them who it's really their problem. I really don't care this is something i realized it really doesn't affect me like i mean a woman, so if a woman if a particular woman thinks she's too good for me or she wants someone that doesn't want me it doesn't like it makes no it makes absolutely no difference to me it makes no difference to my life because basically i've been i've been living fine without that particular woman all my life and uh, i'm not sure i can live the rest of my life without that particular woman or whichever women I can live I can live my whole life fine without them and um, so if a particular woman isn't interested it makes no difference to me however it does it can hurt some of these women particularly the ones whose expectations are just out of whack with reality completely you know unrealistic the ones who have the most unrealistic expectations those are the ones who the consequences for them are that they can't find anybody and that's really their problem. I mean, they're, they're, I'm sure there's women who I wouldn't even, I wouldn't spit on. Like, they're just not attractive to me in any way, shape, or form. But at the same time, they think they're better than me as well. Or they wouldn't, they wouldn't give me a chance because they think they're too good for me. So, I mean, in that case, hey, we're both, I mean, I don't, I don't want them anyway. And, um, they don't, they don't want me. So, we're both, we're both going to be happy. Well, I'm going to be happy they may be unhappy especially if they have their expectations are too high and they can't find the man they want because they're demand they're they have expectations that are out of touch with reality or without with them or out of touch with how attractive they are to the majority of men
but that's their problem. So I'll be ha I'll be fine, and they'll be the ones who are unhappy and complaining because <laughs> they can't get what they feel they deserve because their their expectations are 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 just not in touch with reality. So there's a comment. I read this comment on on some internet message uh, thing board on Reddit actually, and I, I thought it was pretty funny. This is what it said, posted by Buck M One. And this is this is what it said. The reason women are finding it ever harder to quote unquote find a good man is because women generally don't self improve. They wallow in marketing and consumerism where companies blow sunshine up their arse about how important they are, coupled with young teenage lives where they are significant and attention worthy for men and boys and showered with interest and people trying to win favor with them. But they also demand to be independent from men and so seek careers in education thinking the everlasting pool of interest and significance will always be there while they commit to a junk career <laughs> that pays low because their qualification is meaningless. The ine inevitable en ends in a older, less attractive woman who has this belief that she is really significant, special, and really well educated when she is anything but. She is ready to settle down with what she thinks is her equal, but her equal is far better with a lot more prospects and much more to offer than she does. So. She pairs with someone, so he pairs with someone better than her. Thus, the price of delusion and ignoring critical. <laughs> oh, man. Thus, the price of delusion and ignoring critical reasoning is you end up a lonely, bitter, miserable woman, woman, who quote unquote can't find no good man. It's beautifully just. See, th this this really sums it up for me. This is. This is exactly what happens. I mean, and this is the reason why I say it's their problem. It's not my problem. These delusional, un unattractive women are the ones who end up complaining because they, they they don't get what they think they deserve or what, because their expectations are just so unrealistic, so overblown, and so out of touch with um, their actual attractiveness to the majority of men. And I, I just really don't care. I mean, like, I'll give an example. I just, there's a story of a, a newspaper. There are two female reporters were having, two different female reporters were having an affair with a married man at the newspaper. And to me, this is probably an example of hypergamy. These, these, these two women, the reason they can't find a man of their own is because they probably had expectations that were too high and um, I'm assuming these women were single but they were probably they probably had expectations that were too high so they're both chasing after the same married man um, and actually one of them committed suicide one of the reporters committed suicide um, I guess she found out that the guy was also having an affair with the, with the other woman at the at the newspaper so that's that's like that's to me this sounds like classic hypergamy hypergamous behavior and neither both of these women both of these reporters the two of them were unattractive they were not I, like i wouldn't i wouldn't even have i wouldn't have sex i wouldn't they're, they're the type of women who i would not have sex with because they're too unattractive for me but that but they had they probably had an attitude that thinking that they were they deserve a certain man. They, you know, they deserve a man who's, who's this and that. That's why they're running after that married, the married guy. So th this, that's what happens when these women are delusional. And the, I mean, so, this, so to me, it's a joke. I really don't like. I don't care. That's their problem. They could, like, they, they could do. They could run around being delusional. They could run around, you know, chasing after married men who are never, who will never leave their wives will just use them as fuck toys on the side basically that's their it's really their problem I really don't care and the truth is first of all I'm I could do 
you know, I can get by by myself. I don't, I don't, I can survive fine without a woman. And I could also get women who are better looking than a lot of these hypergamous, over demanding, delusional women who are bitter and miserable because they can't find the type of man they feel they deserve. I mean, so to me, it's really their problem. They could go screw themselves because I don't care. I just don't care. It's not my problem. You know, so in conclusion, so my point is just that all this hypergamy, you know, I don't know why pe men on the internet run around com want to complain about hypergamy on the internet. The thing is, hypergamy is hurting them. They're the ones who are getting hurt. Not, it's not me for sure. I mean, if, if you can't find a woman, then you should, first of all, I think you should be happy with yourself. Men should be happy by themselves. We, you know, like I said, I don't think... I think some women can be worth um, having relationships with. I don't think all women are not worth having relationships with. I don't think all women are bad just because they were born with vaginas. But um, I think also think that men need to be... Men really need to be independent and, and all that type of stuff. Because at the end of the day, you know... The world will leave you out to die in the cold. Like you know, you have to, you have to take care of yourself if you're a man. That's it. That's just how it works. Um, and if a wo if you get a woman, that's great. Or I mean, if you get a woman that's worth worth the trouble, then that's great. But other than that, you, know, you should be able to be happy by yourself. And let these these women who have unrealistic expectations and very little to offer. Let them be miserable, let them be complaining, let them be running around chasing after men who don't want them because they can get something better. And let it be their problem. Let them be the ones complaining about it. So hypergamy is the woman's problem. It's not, it's really the problem of, of the women with unrealistic expectations.